What up, nerds? Depex here, and today I am bringing you a news roundup uh, for the week. So, just big stories that have happened, and a lot has happened, that's for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, Everspace 2 was delayed because they didn't want any, uh, they, they didn't want their customers having to choose between Everspace 2 or Cyberpunk because, well, they feel like they would choose Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> so uh here you see according to rockfish games everspace 2 will now launch in early access via steam in january 2021 uh that's what the ceo said he said it's a major blow for him and uh he says they have quite an audience overlap between them and cd project red so it is what it is all right, moving on. So according to thegamer.com, these are the biggest stories of the week for October 25th through the 31st. Do, do, oh, yeah. That looks like some Final Fantasy and some Cyberpunk. So, all right. Cyberpunk has been delayed again. We all know that um, it was delayed to December 10th, so not much uh, about going into that. So Nintendo released its last Direct of the year. Uh, Nintendo surprise dropped its last Mini Direct of 2020. It opened with the reveal that Bravely Default 2 has been pushed to 2021, but the game is looking far more polished than it did in the past. Control is now available on Nintendo Switch as a cloud streaming game, with Hitman 3 also coming next year as a streaming game. Hmm, very interesting. Uh, we got a new look at No More Heroes 3, along with the first two No More Heroes games being shadow dropped on Switch. Uh, the Direct ended with a demo of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, along with new information about the game. Hmm, sounds interesting. Uh, Square Enix released key, key details about Final Fantasy 16. So Final Fantasy 16 was announced in September with an exciting trailer, but few details about the story of the game were released at the time. Square Enix launched a website for Final Fantasy 16 that unveiled details about the characters and the world of the game. Let's scroll a little bit here. Final Fantasy was announced in September uh, with a trailer, but few details about the story were released at the time. And then... Uh, Square Enix made a website for Final Fantasy 16 that unveiled details about the characters and of the world. Final Fantasy 16 is set in a land called Valisthea, which is home to massive mother crystals that are the size of, of mountains. These crystals provide the ability to use magic, so entire nations developed around them. The summoned monsters in the world are called Icon, and they can grant their powers to a human known as a dominant. The main character is Clive Rossfield, whose younger brother, Joshua, is the dominant of Phoenix. The two are joined by Jill Warwick, who is a ward of their nation. Their lives are thrown into chaos when a tragedy involving Ifrit occurs. The details are scant, but, now, but we now have a general idea of the settings and story of Final Fantasy 16. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Sony made changes to the PS5 launch lineup. The PS5 launch lineup took a major hit this week, as Destruction All-Stars was delayed to February 2021. Destruction All-Stars was one of three PS5 exclusives that weren't cross-gen, along with Astro's Playroom and Demon's Souls. Destruction All-Stars will now be a free PS Plus game in February slash March, and everyone who pre-ordered the game will be refunded the cost. Man, Sony's stepping it up. Sony also revealed another change to the PS5's launch lineup. November's PS Plus lineup will include the PS5 version of Bug Snacks, ensuring that subscribers receive another free game at launch alongside Astro's Playroom. PS4 subscribers will also receive Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition and Middle Earth Shadows of War. Sony has front loaded uh, the first period with excellent titles. Blah. League of Legends is getting a single player spin off is crazy uh league of legends is set to receive its first single player spinoff next year ruined king a league of legends story is an upcoming turn-based rpg that will be released for nintendo switch pc ps4 and 5 xbox all, all of them it'll be released on all of them except stadia it looks like uh in 2021 no gameplay footage has been revealed as of yet 
but the cinematic trailer revealed that Miss Fortune, Aleo, Brom, Pike, Ahiri, and Yasu will appear in the game. Yeah, I butchered that. So uh, there's that. All right, now we're going to go to uh, Apex Legends from Respawn, where they say they might become more than just a battle royale. So, uh, Respawn Entertainment has suggested we're probably going to see the shooter become more than just a battle royale game. That's in quotations, meaning that they said it. Right now, we're a battle, ro battle royale game. Apex Legends game director Chad Grenier told Eurogamer, I think if you look into the future, we have a lot of conversations of, you know, should we expand beyond battle royale? We have this roster of legends that people love. How else can we use them? That's looking like uh, it's going to be more. I, I see what they said possibly. Who, who knows? All right. So potential legend buffs and weapon changes in season seven. So we're going to skip that. Uh, so they have potential buffs here. Uh, I'm not going to read them. But if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to read them. And... They have weapon changes uh, in Apex's upcoming season and details about the Trident hover car. What? That sounds pretty cool. I've only played Apex Legends just a little bit when it first came out. I, I didn't like it too much, but I'm not really a Battle Royale person. The Season 7 update will remove the R99 SMG from airdrops, adding the weapon back to the ground loot pool. That's cool. Uh, it talks more about care packages. Uh, besides that, players can expect a significant buff to the L Star, since it's currently, it currently is one of the least useful weapons in the game. At this moment, it is unknown what exactly the changes will will be made. And then season seven will introduce a hovercraft vehicle to the brand new Olympus map making it convenient to traverse the vast landscape as senior level design uh someone shared details of how the vehicle will work only squad members can ride that's useful in the car basically what that that says is hey we're adding a, a hover car and o only your your peeps can actually ride with you so um that concludes the news roundup if you guys like what you saw don't forget like subscribe smash that like button for me i'm trying to hit uh 5 000 subs before the end of the year we're trying we are trying hard um all right so again thank you uh everyone and i will see you nerds later Bye bye